Welcome back to the show. So there's no question that the cornerstone or pillar of the Direct Selling Shift podcast, it's our guest interviews. We get to dive into insightful conversations and highlight valuable stories and experiences from each of our guests' own unique entrepreneurial journeys. Now, while the focus is really going to be on spotlighting our guest stories, with our very first guest episode launching on Monday, I thought it might be good just to give you a little bit on my personal story, just to help you better understand the lens I'll be coming from during these conversations. So just a couple of quick highlights. Uh, I went to college down in San Diego, UCSD. I have degrees in political science, emphasis in public law, minor in psychology. So I was following the traditional path. I thought I was law school bound until I got introduced to the direct selling industry. And really, it was this industry that opened the door to entrepreneurship and personal and professional growth for me for the very first time. I was 19 years old, out of my college dorm room. I can still remember very vividly what it felt like being a brand new distributor, not able to fall asleep at night because like my mind couldn't stop racing about all the possibilities. Some of you might remember being in that space. Some of you might be in that space right now. It's the best, right? And for me... The defining moment came over summer before my sophomore year. That's where everything shifted for me. I remember the day vividly. I was spending my summer at the time interning for a district attorney, sacrificing my holiday while my friends were out having fun, and I was filing giant manila envelopes all day. I was absolutely miserable, and I must have been radiating that energy because I was driving home one day, and, and one of my mentors at the time that I got introduced to or connected to in my direct selling company, he kind of felt that and he just asked me a really simple question. He said, well, Blake, if you feel that way, why are you doing it? And that was it. That question, why, shifted everything. Because in that moment, I didn't have a good answer. Matter of fact, the only answer I could give is, well, isn't this what I'm supposed to do? And in that answer, I realized I had spent all of my life up until that point following what felt like a prescription, a script, for no other reason than it's what I'd been told I was supposed to do. I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. I wasn't doing what I was passionate about. I wasn't doing what I was created for. I was living my life to meet the expectations created by others. That moment changed the trajectory of my entire life. And beyond putting me in the entrepreneurial lane, in hindsight, I also realized that in that moment, I learned the power of a single shift. That one shift at the right time can change everything. And that one of the greatest gifts we can give is inspiring somebody else to make that significant of a shift. So hearing my personal story probably gives you some context as to why I'm so excited about this show. Now, fast forward over two decades now, I've held various roles all in and around the direct selling Industry distributor, founder, owner, executive, investor, advisor, definitely a 360 degree perspective. Beyond all the titles, though, is I've lived the seasons of a direct selling entrepreneur, right? I know what it feels like, the exciting yet uncertain beginnings, the leap of faith we feel like we have to take sometimes, the hard work when we're in the climb, the resilience in overcoming what we go through. I've also been super blessed to experience some of the mountaintops of, I guess, what most would call, quote unquote, success. I founded a company that we built from an idea to over $2 billion in cumulative revenue before my early 30s, as well as the plateaus where we can feel just stuck. And like any entrepreneur, I've also faced the inevitable dips and falls, navigating through what feels like just dark valleys sometimes and then finding the strength to climb back up. So through these experiences, I'm actually grateful to have gained a pretty unique perspective on the entrepreneurial journey in this channel. So that's a little bit on my professional 
side. On the personal level, I consider myself a values-driven person. You might feel that in our conversations. I've been happily married to my high school sweetheart, Karis. I know, aw. 23 years now. We recently celebrated our 10-year wedding anniversary in May. We reside in Pacific Palisades, California. That's nestled right between like Santa Monica and Malibu. Our son Grayson is seven. Our daughter Sadie is five. I love my dad life adventures. Such a fun season. I am an older millennial. My birthday is in February, Aquarius. Um, I'm a bit of a life enthusiast. I'm always up for an adventure. I definitely stay pretty active. I love to run. I know I'm weird. Bike, hike, snowboard, backpack, camp. I've surfed most of my life. So I'm all about the activities, activities, activities. Some would call me a bit of a challenge chaser. I've completed a couple marathons, quite a few triathlons, climbed the highest peak in the continental U.S., and even found myself in a national jiu-jitsu competition once. That did not end so well. (laughs) Love to travel, and really the perspective I think it creates. I think I'm up to around 28 countries so far, and I don't know about you. I feel like the more that I see, the more that I want to see. You know, some people love collecting certain things. I love collecting moments. I'm a big believer that new experiences are the best investment. It's like the value of memories increase over time. A couple fun facts that most don't know about me. I'm naturally an introvert. Being around water, any kind of water is really my happy place. I actually hold the world record for putting on the world's largest simultaneous flash mob with Alfonso Ribeiro. That's a crazy story. And I've had the unique experience of being saved by Hulk Hogan on stage one time. Uh, On a more serious note, I had the opportunity to share my personal story and mission on the TED Talk stage, and standing on that red dot was just such a meaningful experience for me. I'm super easy to find on social, just my name, at Blake Mallon, if you want to drop by and say hi. Oh, and before we launch, our very first guest episode coming up on Monday, go listen to episode 10 now. I have a gift I'd like to share with you. It's the result of months worth of research and something that I know you can apply immediately to grow your business today. I think you're going to dig it. Enjoy episode 10.